Hey everyone, I'm Clint and I'm a Space Systems Engineer at UNSW Canberra here in Australia. Congratulations if you're one of the 3,497 individual presentations to be delivered at COSPAR 2021 Hybrid. All the virtual presentations will be delivered via pre-recorded webcasts and will be accessed and viewed via the COSPAR 2021 Hybrid Assembly virtual platform. Preparations are well underway and it's going to be amazing. So today I'm excited to show you how to set up, create and submit your pre-recorded video. As you can see, I'm here in an office in UNSW Canberra and I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up, create and submit your pre-recorded video for inclusion in a virtual platform in just a few easy steps. Step one, where do we begin? Good internet and a healthy computer are vital to ensure your pre-recorded video is a success. You will need to decide how you want to record your presentation. You will need a laptop with a webcam or a desktop computer. If you want some great tips on what to do, there's a detailed presentation filming sheet that can be found on the COSPAR 2021 hybrid website. Read the guidelines for presenting with a webcam, including tips and best practices and framing and lighting guidelines. You can never be too prepared. Step two, let's get set up. Before you hit the record button, make sure you have done the following things. Number one, have headphones with a microphone. It is so important that the audio of your presentation is clear and sufficiently loud. Here you can see I have my headphones with a microphone attachment for my laptop. Number two, restart your computer. This refreshes your computer and ensures no programs are running in the background. Don't forget to close any programs that may open automatically. Number three, Check to see that you have a strong, stable internet connection. Check out my setup. Set yourself in a nice, quiet area and make sure your backdrop is suitable. You can see I am sitting at my desk, my laptop is elevated to my eye line and there is nothing in the background to pull the attention away from me speaking and distract you. I've turned on the overhead lights, which provides a nice balance for lighting. Make sure we can see and hear you. Now that you have your location selected and your camera and lighting set, take the time to rehearse your presentation. Don't forget to smile and make eye contact. Oh, and you should plan what you're going to wear. Solid pastel colors to be safe. Colored shirts, like what I have on, typically look best on camera. Step three, let's move on to how you're going to record your talk. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to record your short summary. Today, I'm using Zoom. So to start, all you need to do is schedule a meeting. Zoom is going to record the meeting for you to the cloud and they will send you an email with the link afterwards, which you can share with the COSPAR digital team. Recording to the cloud will give you a link and the automatic transcript of your talk, which is super important. If you want to refer to any notes, you can share your screen. Make sure they're ready before you begin. There's also some really cool tools in the annotation tab. Maybe practice this beforehand but you can use the drawing icon to circle something if you want to draw attention to it while you're talking. Smartphones also have the capability of high-level recording. Don't forget to film in landscape mode with the phone in a horizontal position rather than the portrait mode in a vertical position. Let's walk through the next few setup steps. 1. Schedule a new meeting and give it a topic. Use the title of your presentation. 2. Record the meeting automatically or you can choose to do it manually. 3. Under settings, check select recording is ticked. 4. 
Under Cloud Recording, check Audio Recording is ticked. This provides a transcript for your recording. Hit Save. Fine. Test the speakers and microphone, and lastly, join by computer audio. Six, now you're ready to start the meeting and hit record. Seven, you may like to have your PowerPoint slides and or notes ready to speak to. Open and minimize the program so you're ready to refer to it or share your screen when the time comes. Now hit record. Start the video so we can see you just like you can see me now. Hi. Introduce yourself. Talk slowly and clearly. Don't rush, just like I am doing now. And begin. Good morning, my name is Clint and I'd like to share three minutes with you to discuss XYZ. At the end, you could include a call to action such as don't forget to join me for live Q&A after this. I'll be online to chat. Remember, it needs to be three minutes sharp. You should use this as an opportunity to excite the audience, as this will be what they will see before the live Q&A session. Stop sharing the screen and end meeting, and that's all you need to do. Pretty easy. Great job. You finish recording your Zoom presentation. So once you've completed your talk, then you wait for Zoom to send you the email with the link to the recording. It may take a little while, so be patient. You will need this link from the email to upload to YouTube and save to your Dropbox. How do I save my talk to Dropbox? Next, you should upload and save your files to Dropbox so they can be accessed. Your files automatically save after you upload them. Your Dropbox folders act as cloud storage, allowing access from anywhere in the world. Take the file from its original location, select the file and drag it to your Dropbox folder. Copy the Dropbox file link ready to upload. I'm also going to save the video file using the date of my presentation, COSPA ID and surname. Where do I upload my presenter files? You will be sent a personalized email with a link from the Secretariat. Click on the presenter portal link. This is where you will upload your video files. There is a detailed step-by-step -step guide that can be found on the COSPA 2021 hybrid website if you want to read through this before you get started. It's just four easy steps to complete the process. Step one, sign in to the portal. Step two, check your contact details are correct and up to date. Step three, add the title of your talk. Step four, then copy the link to your Dropbox folder containing your presentation files and paste in the text box provided. So, remember to practice. Before pre-recording, read the setup guidelines. Record both your presentations, keeping to your allocated program schedule time. When your video presentation is finished, please upload it to YouTube as an unlisted video, meaning the video can only be accessed with the private link so that we can synchronize the correct video files with the confirmed COSPA event schedule, all pre-recorded videos will need to follow the file naming protocols. Upload your files to Dropbox. Go to the presenter portal on the COSPA website and submit your pre-recorded videos. Be sure to register by the deadline date of 30th November 2020. Take advantage of the lower rates and ensure your place in the virtual program. Thanks so much for watching and listening. I hope you found this easy to follow. Make sure you check out all the content on the COSPA website for a copy of today's tutorial. I can't wait to see you virtually in January 2021.